Do you want to become an instrument technician but are not sure on what training and qualifications you need? In this video, we're going to look at what you need to become an instrument technician in the US and UK job markets. My name is Chris and on my channel, I aim to make the learning about instrumentation simpler. I've worked as an instrument technician and engineer for over a decade now and currently work in the oil and gas sector. In my videos, I discuss the knowledge and skills needed as an instrument technician. If that sounds interesting to you, then check out some of my videos, and if you enjoy them, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Let's start with the US market, as most of my viewers are from the US. Most instrumentation technicians coming through the US market today follow a similar route. To start, they usually attain an associate's degree of applied science. There are specific instrument and control automation degree programs that give students the basic education and training around instrumentation from installation and setup to calibration and repair of instrumentation. By completing an associate's degree, you will also touch on the theoretical side of the job, from the theories of electricity to computer networking. This will help you understand the underpinning technologies you'll be working with as an instrument technician. The usual prerequisites for signing up to this type of associate's degree is an MTH 131 in modern mathematics. After completing your associate's degree, you can look for an entry-level junior instrument technician post. Each company have their own onboarding activities, but this will usually involve shadowing an experienced tech who will introduce you to the company's instrumentation, as well as learn the regular maintenance activities you will come up against. You will usually be supervised until the point you are deemed competent to carry out work on your own safely. In order to continue your progress and boost your resume, it can be worth joining some professional associations such as the IEEE, which is the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers. It is worth noting you normally require three years experience working on instrumentation equipment before applying to join these associations. These associations will allow you to build a strong network of like-minded people you can draw on in the future, as well as providing news related to conferences on new equipment. In the UK, the route is usually through an advanced apprenticeship option. And this was the route I took back in 2007. The prerequisites for this type of program is usually four GCSEs at grades five to nine and must include maths, English, and science. When I carried out my training, it involved completing a year at a training school while completing an MBQ level two and a BTEC technical certificate. After the first year, I was placed at my sponsoring company working closely with qualified technicians. During the next three years, I completed an MVQ Level 3 and a HNC or Higher National Certificate in Operations Engineering in Instrumentation and Control. This was done at a local college one day a week. The whole process took four years, but you were then issued with an Advanced Apprenticeship Certification. These are the base qualifications, but I would really recommend continually learning about the subject. Technologies are always changing, and keeping up to date as they do is important to keeping a relevant skill set. Be sure to investigate the local industries in your area you'll hopefully end up working in. Try contacting these companies and begin building a relationship with them. Having a few contacts can really make the difference when it comes to getting employed, even if it is jobs that come up in the future. Hopefully this gives you a good overview of what you need to get started and can point you in the right direction to becoming an instrument technician. Be sure to check out some of my other videos.